loving in truth and fain in verse my love to show that she dear she might take some pleasure of my pain pleasure might cause her read reading might make her know knowledge might pity win and pity grace obtain a poet soldier and courtier philip sidney was one of the most celebrated figures of the elizabethan age born at penshurst kent in november 30 1554 in an aristocratic family he became highly learned and one of the prominent figures of the time he was knighted in 1582 and 3 years later became governor of flushing in netherlands in truth o oh love with what a boyish kind thou dost proceed in thy most serious ways that when the heaven to thee his best displays yet of that best thou leavest the best behind philip sidney realized more dramatically than any other figure of the english renaissance the ideal of the perfect courtier and the universal gentleman following the footprints of the famous italian sonnetier petrarch he wrote a sequence of 108 love sonnets named it astrophel and stella which is considered as his finest achievement no more my dear no more these counsels try oh give my passions leave to run their race let fortune lay on me her worst disgrace let folk overcharged with brain against me cry let clouds bedim my face break in mine eye let me no steps but of lost labor tress let all the earth with scorn recount my case but do not will me from my love to fly in 1579 a critic named stephen gosson wrote school of abuse an attack on the theater that had been dedicated to sydney without his knowledge or approval Hence he composed the famous critical essay that was published under two different titles The Defense of Poesy and An Apology for Poetry Here Sidney states Having slipped into the title of a poet I'm provoked to say something unto you in the defense of that my unelected vocation he argues that poetry whose final end is to lead and draw us to as high a perfection as our degenerate souls made worse by their clay lodgings can be capable of is the best vehicle for the purifying of wit Sidney is remembered not only for being the pioneer sonneteer and first literary critic of England but also for his pastoral romance Arcadia 
which is considered to be the precursor of English novel. The Arcadia is an intricate love story embodying the ideals of the medieval chivalry that Sidney himself glorified all through his life. Sidney's life ended prematurely in October 17, 1586, when he suffered a fatal wound at the Battle of Zutphen. While dying, he gave his water bottle to another wounded soldier, saying, Thy need is greater than mine. Fly, fly, my friends, I have my death wound, fly. See there that boy, that murdering boy, I say, who, like a thief, hid in dark bush doth lie, till bloody bullet get him wrongful prey. So tyrant he no fitter place could spy, not so fair level in so secret stay, as that sweet black which veils the heavenly eye. There himself with his shot he closed doth lay. Poor passenger, pass now thereby I did, and stayed, pleased with the prospect of the place, while that black hue from me the bad guest hid. But straight I saw motions of lightning grace, and then Described the glistering of his dart, but ere I could fly thence, it pierced my heart. <laughs>